we live? I don't, I don't think we're live yet. All right, we, we are live. We are live. What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop. My name is Stephen Corka. Juan Farage. Uh, featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I'm the Fat Man. <laughs> I'm the Little Boy. <laughs> Still, no one... Never mind. If you don't get it, then whatever. Go back to school. Anyways, so we are here to talk about Blade Runner 2049. We're going to give the full review on Blade Runner 2049. Before we do that, let's 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 uh, talk about some news that's happened. Um, you got you got anything to l- let the world know about that they don't know about all, already? Nope. Nothing. Are you that disconnected? Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about the Justice League trailer that dropped yesterday. Did you watch it? Yes, I did. What'd you think? I thought it was fucking stupid. I thought it was dumb too. I didn't like it either. I th- it reminded me of Episode One, Two, and Three, Star Wars because it looked like the whole thing's against the green screen. Yeah, it's just like them posing. And, like, I don't like Aquaman. And I love the character Aquaman. I love to read him in the books. I've always been a fan since I was a kid. And I think Jason Momoa's interpretation of Aquaman so far, I mean, we haven't seen the movie yet, but based on what I've seen in the previews, he it's very barbaric. You know, very like, yeah, I want to go do this. Yeah, ha, ah, chaos. Ah, you know, like, like uh, yeah, like, it seems like they're trying too hard to make him cool and relevant. What do you think? <laughs> what, what? I hate it. I just I, I I think Aquaman he looks fine, but uh, I, I think he looks fine too. I mean, I, I in the trailer he started talking and it sounds stupid. He sounds stupid. Was what, what? What did he say to Cyborg in the trailer? I don't know. Like you got me, you got this. Some bullshit. I was just like, ah. Uh, I just thought he was like, oh. he was just like, booty call. Um. <laughs> anyways. Um. So, it, um, yeah, it just looks like a bunch of superheroes posing for Alex Ross posters. Yeah, and 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 Wonder Woman's like here. Let me do the little slide thing yeah. again. Let me do, put my sword. Flash up. is all. Oh, we're gonna start in super slow mo and then go really really fast. Yeah, and and I guess Flash Flash seems to be the rookie out of everyone. So is this where we finally admit that Scott Snyder's a one trick pony who's not a good director and after three hundred has not done anything relevant? You want to know what? I'm not gonna blame Scott Snyder. I'll I'll. It's p- just it, the styles what bothers Stop. me about the movie. I'm gonna put money on it that this trailer is designed and and molded by Joss Whedon. Based on based on the, the, the footage that Snyder has originally done and I bet you there's some reshoot shit in there too. Probably, but you can tell what the Scott Snyder stuff is. I don't know. He does the same thing, man. Whatever. It's really we, we, it's we, we annoying. Can, we can speculate for long. Just League trailers out. Uh it's horrible. Make up your mind. Uh tonight the Star Wars episode eight trailer drops. <clears throat> yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Um, the first trailer really didn't tell me much. Oh, how do you feel about what happened at San Diego Comic Con? I mean, not San Diego, the New York Comic Con. So they were supposed to have a, pun, a, a panel with Punisher, mm-hmm. and they decided to cancel the uh, panel. And now there is no official release date for the Punisher TV series on Netflix because of what happened in Las Vegas. Are you kidding? They delayed the release? Yeah. Wow. I say, I I don't like it. Oh. I don't like it. I I think it's a bad move. I mean, let's for, for first of all, the Punisher, the Punisher at his core is a hero. He's considered a hero vigilante. Uh, he is not a bad guy, though he kills. He's a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. He kills people. He does, but he kills bad people. If it, he's he's no different than our soldiers, you know. Our soldiers go to war to fight bad people. And but kill what Punisher the bad does is illegal. It's illegal, yes. Okay. But because he's doing, he's he. But, but what Batman's doing is illegal. Yes. You know, what, Batman's wrong for it. What Green Lantern does is illegal. What Wonder, what, what all the well, heroes. Well, Green does, Lantern is in a police force. Well, uh, well, maybe bad example. But what all the heroes at their core, what the X Men do, is illegal. It is. You but know? the thing is, Punisher so, is is executing people based on what he believes they deserve. Is Punisher the only hero that kills people? No, what about but Azrael? He, he he's known for killing people. Of course, he's known for Punisher's killing people. Punisher's probably the most famous. Punisher's the most famous murderer in comics. But 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 he is he is he's a good guy, just like all the other illegal superheroes. Oh shit! Maybe I should go out and murder some people I think did wrong. No, it's not that at all. But but oh, there's a cop here. Never mind. 
No. I'm going to give him flowers. But it, the it, people I'm murdering, I'm not trying to bribe no, an officer. Listen, it, it's first of all, this is fiction. All right, this isn't real life. This isn't a documentary. This isn't like promoting anything like that. If if, if you want to argue that, then let's just get rid of all the video games that have guns in it. Let's just get rid of all the also, comic books, I, TV I, shows, movies, everything. Because, because you know, I don't know. I also believe it shouldn't have been pushed back, but not because he's a murderer. I don't believe that it should have been pushed back either. I don't believe that the panel should have been pushed back. I mean, right. Uh, again, like he's a vigilante that takes the law into his own hands and and goes after murderers and 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 people that that take advantage of the system that get off. He goes after the criminals that the 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 real authorities can't go after because of loopholes. Well, it's, it's what I think people love about Punisher, right? Is that Punisher is very black and white, as opposed to you know the hop- hypocrisy Literally. we see. Right, because you know, yeah. to be truth be told, how many people unfortunately invent in Vegas is t- terrible. I've personally prayed for the people there. It's, it it's a terrible. horrible thing. Uh, how many, how I, many, I think it's irrelevant to the Punisher. Right, but how many people well, died? Oh, it has a mass shooting in the first episode. Yeah. Oh, okay, so 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 for uh, there is a comment by one of our watchers here. Which, by the way, if you want to come watch the show, you're more than welcome to come. We filmed this on 107th and the Eighth Street at our Miami location. Uh, never the same time but we try to make it Mondays um, and he says that the first episode is rumored to have a mass shooting so it might be too close to home right now given the events I can understand that but why delay the panel or, or the, I, I just I still don't get with the TV show I mean today if or you, cancel the panel should I, I don't know if you know this but over the weekend Chicago hit its 500th homicide for the year due to gun violence so should we just cancel Punisher altogether just, well, so just because it's not a mass shooting in Chicago, is it better? No, I don't think we it's should cancel. Yeah. I, I think I think they're unrelated. I think they're unrelated, and I think, uh, in all honesty, I think it's I think it's uh, liberal scare tactics. And I have a, here's an honest question, because I know that you're you obviously have the poster, and you're old enough to remember. How did you feel about after 9/11 um, when they took out the uh, Spider-Man poster because the Twin Towers were in it, and they reissued the poster? I'm I'm not I'm not totally against that to be honest. I mean because the movie came out the following year, mm-hmm. and that image within the reflection of Spider-Man's eyes is irrelevant to that present time. Right. Because they don't exist anymore. So you're having a movie that comes out. There's no footage in the movie of the towers. You know, if there was, it was removed. There was that preview they said where right. where originally he was doing that, but in the actual movie, he, <coughs> they don't show the twin towers, and. When the movie came out, they weren't there anymore. So the fact that the studio made the decision to remove them, I think just out of core black and white, it, it's just they don't exist anymore. Regardless of how you feel on the subject, which obviously everybody was 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 heartbroken about it, it it's just it's irrelevant to the present day. So I it, that that doesn't that doesn't bother me. You know, there's people that are going into their first year of high school this year that weren't alive for 9/11. <laughs> To my Instagram and Facebook live people that say you can't hear us that well, we apologize for the chatter in the background by our audience, which still is happening by Batsy. Oh, that's okay then. All right. See, I thought he was talking to some chick. <laughs> he says he's a player. Batsy's a player, you know? He's got he's got chicks lined up. Lined up. Yeah, we call him the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Kidding. His game isn't that good. He's the op- <laughs> he's the opposite of a player, honestly. <laughs> I know. He's the anti-player. Yeah. Should we cancel games? I've seen women get <laughs> I've seen women get unpregnant in his presence. Unpregnant. In his presence, oh women God. get unpregnant. That's a superpower. Yeah. That's a superpower. <laughs> like 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 that could save lives. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's so, amazing. It's 9 11. Anyways, I, well, we got way off topic here. Um, wow, we could do that for an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've got jokes. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so, yeah, uh, I think I think canceling the Punisher panel was unnecessary. Uh, if there really is a mass shooting in the first episode of the Punisher series, uh, it's cool. Like, like, uh, I mean, it's, I'm not saying it's cool, but go ahead and and uh, and and not. Del- you could delay it because I could 
it, it could be too soon. I wouldn't do a reshoot. I mean, I'm not big on censorship or anything like that, you know. Uh, and and I really think it's unrelated. I mean, th this person that did this horrible act in Vegas obviously was a psychopath and had some crazy loose screws. I mean, um, Frank Castle it doesn't represent that shooter. I mean, he's very he knows exactly what he's doing and. And at the end of the day, even though he's killing people, which I think we can all agree killing people regardless of who it is is wrong, but then you get into a bigger debate. Well, then what does that mean about war? You know? Right. Because it's the same thing. It's just, it's just, it, you know, what Frank Castle does is war on a domestic level, and he takes it into his own hands because the authorities and the courts at the domestic level fail to do the right thing half of the time due to bureaucratic red tape or, or, um, or, um. This is a comic show, man. Yeah, but well, no, I'm saying that that's the atmosphere of Punisher, you know, bureaucratic red, red tape or or what 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 is it called when you when you get when you uh, when when you're a dirty cop, bribes. bribes, but but there's a there's a better word for it, I don't know whatever you know M what I mean making so, a living so <laughs> shut up so so Punisher you know you know th that's what Punisher represents. Uh, Punisher has always been a char popular character in my eyes because. Of, of his arsenal I remember growing up as a kid And everyone loved the fact That he had a van filled With all these guns And, and he would always do crazy things When Garth Ennis did the run of Punisher And like it actually showed Punisher Killing people in like nasty ways Like it appealed to people I mean look at video games Why did people enjoy the video games Where that Why was Doom popular in the 90s Why why why, why are all these other video games that, 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 that focus on guns Being your weapon of choice And gun violence I mean I, I don't know. What do you say? I think people are a little too. Not. I'm not going to say too sensitive. It's you know you could. I, I think this was an overreaction by Marvel, but we all do know that Marvel has an agenda, and their com comics has suffered from it. And for it to transfer over to their television is not a sh not a surprise. I'm not going to call it an overreaction. They're hypersensitive to the victims and the other people. Right, that, not an overreaction, that, but yeah. hypersensitive because these two things have yeah. nothing. They're completely unrelated. unrelated. They're totally unrelated. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. They're unrelated. So we'll leave it there. We'll see what happens. We'll see if Netflix and Marvel come out and do another uh, release. It It will be released. It's going to be released. I it's going to be released. Yeah. They may do a reshoot. They may change the plot a little. There might not be not. a mass shooting in the, the thing anymore if that is true um, but whatever that's that that's to be seen um what was that so American Horror Story had a mass shooting episode as well which they had they, they pulled or reshot delaying the release and they're gonna cut the scene out Wow. I don't know. Really? Well, they uh, should just make Care Bear movies all the uh, time. Uh, That's it. Hey, listen. Forest of feelings, Kerala, and Earth are in far apart. That movie is the shit with the book, with the head in the book. Do you remember that movie? With yeah, the, I remember that movie. Like the magician, his name was Simon or Elliot or something. I don't know, whatever. That movie was the shit. Care Bears movie. Check out that deep cut right what there. What would be your Care Bear stare? Like, what would be your symbol? Oh, my symbol. Oh, uh, my a musical note. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. definitely a musical note. Yeah, two eighth notes actually. Nice. That's actually yeah, creative. What would yours be? I don't know. How do you make a soulless person? <laughs> Just have it blank. Yeah, there's, I just like take. People it's just white. Yeah. It's just you. You just look like a regular bear. Yeah, just a red, nothing on it. Just like dead just, eyes. Yeah, it does, and, and 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 your color will be black. Right. Yeah. Because there's no black bear. Yeah. There's no black Care Bear. The the, the saddest Care Bear there is is the 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 reigning bear. Yeah. The blue one. That's always sad. What's the name of that bear? Anyone? Grumpy Bear. Yeah. Grumpy Bear. With his clouds. No, we'll just call you like Dead Bear. Well, I'm not Black dead. bear. Which is cool because there's actually real black bears in the world. Oh, okay. Like a black bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And then I shoot people with nothing and they just get really introspective and realize that life is worthless and just stop doing Care Bear shit. I know because there are infinite number of galaxies and to say that aliens don't exist would be bullshit. And to say that we don't have 
that 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 our purpose here really matters is just really doesn't mean anything because let's think about it. There's multiple galaxies with multiple solar systems, infinite numbers actually. So what's our point? <laughs> yeah, man. I can't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I work at a comic book store in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it, man. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. You know, it's Blade Runner that did this to me, right? Is it Blade Runner, Blade that, did Runner that did this? Let's talk about Blade Runner, the whole point of this. Blade Runner 2049. Listen, America doesn't like Blade Runner, okay? It just doesn't because Blade Runner over the weekend only did about 30-something million dollars. 31.5. Which is horrible. They had like a $150 million budget. Yeah, $150 million budget, and it did 30 something million. So, not a lot of people went to go see this movie in the United States. Uh, world numbers will be determined. It'll probably turn a profit at the end of the day, but not by much. It was, uh, I think, the it showed that it was like 70% men that was the audience, and like something like 60% over 25 year old. Yeah, it, and, and, and there's no toy appeal. So, there, so, so, kids. Like if a kid goes to see, like if your kids want to go see this movie, what would they? No, we would. They, that it just wouldn't have happened, man. Like thirty minutes in, I think they'd be like, "Can we go?" I'm surprised. Like, 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 it, it, like. Listen, there that, were a that, few that, walkouts. Um, first of all, the movie's too long. Two hours and forty-five minutes. It's almost three hours long. Yeah. Okay. Come on, dude. When are we gonna learn? It's my daughter. I got put it on vibrate or something. Kids. Ugh. Anyways, all right. Listen. Let me tell you what I liked about the movie first before I tell you what I hated about the movie. Here's what I liked about the movie. Um, I thought it was visually great, amazing. I thought it looked amazing. Um, I really liked the, the soundtrack. I really liked, you know, like throughout the movie, like it'd be like, it'd be like, and I was like, that's cool. That's cool. Very much like the original. They used a lot of... Uh, they reworked the original score a lot, too, in this one. Um, I thought Jared Leto, Leto, whatever, however you want to say his last name, uh, unnecessary. Maybe had 10 minutes of screen time the whole time in a two-hour and 45-minute movie. Mm-hmm. You know, was not in the movie a lot, you know? Um, I, 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 I... But, but yeah, visually, visually it was great. I liked the soundtrack. And I think Ryan Gosling did a great job. Yeah. I really think I, you know, uh, you know, I, I saw, you know, I remember the first time I saw him was in a notebook and I'm like, this movie's fucking good, you know? Um, but I didn't know who he was. And then he was great in La La Land. He's great in this movie. I mean, Ryan Gosling's a solid actor, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, drive. Yeah. Drive, drive. Unex- I thought that movie was going to be like gone in 60 seconds and it was, it was amazing. It was not that at all. Yeah. yeah soundtrack was great too. Check it out. What did you like about Blade Runner? I liked everything about Blade Runner. Everything? Everything about Blade Runner. Everything. I, everything. I believe that Blade Runner 2049 Look, I'm is... Just, I'm just going to put this down because you're going to talk for the next 10 minutes. Go. Is at least as good as the original Blade Runner. Oh, there you go. 10 minutes. That's it? That's all you're going to say? Shouldn't we tell them like what the movie's about? No, go ahead. Go into well, it. Well, so Jared Leto plays Wallace. Wallace is basically the company that bought Terrell. In the original Blade Runner, Terrell gets killed by the Rutger Hauer uh, replicant. Um, Wallace is the one that buys out the company and continues to develop these replicants, which are just androids, right? Yeah, it's like Data from Star Trek Next Generation or or, or David from Prometheus. So Wallace has this Alexander the Great complex. He wants to conquer worlds, right? And he's doing that through using slave labor, using replicants. But he can only produce so many replicants uh, at any given time, at a rate of time, to take over the amount of gal- uh, you know, colonies he wants to set up. Yeah, I think he said there were like nine planets. Nine so far. And that he's, he, like, right. he's like, that's nothing. That's nothing, In an right. infinite number of galaxies in a, in, a, in a universe where we mean nothing. And so what happens is you meet Ryan Gosling. He's a character. He basically is is Deckard, right? Um, his name is Kay. He goes around hunting down these old Nexus model replicants. Actually, his, his serial number is like K1, KD, blah, blah, whatever. blah, blah, yeah. which, which, which Rogue One, what the fuck? It's got to start yeah. with K. Right. Men in black, too? Come on, man. Yeah. K? You so, can uh, find something else? He, he goes down and he hunts down this replicant played by Batista. Right? Yeah, that was Drax. That was, that was Drax? That was Drax. Oh, wow. Yeah. He, he looked like shit in that movie. Well, he, he looks like shit. He's deformed. Is he really? Yeah, yeah he looks all deformed. Right? He looks great in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, because he's deformed. 
makeup and shit. He's green and shit. So. No, I know his color. Or but gray but, or whatever. No, but I'm saying his face looked fucked up in, in Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah. Going. Okay. <clears throat> and so basically, uh, Ryan Gosling lands. Right, spoilers, spoilers. Oh, yeah, full spoilers. Spoilers. So Ryan Gosling lands there, and he kills him and discovers a box on the property. The box ends up having the bones of a replicant. Uh, they find out because of the serial numbers. Listen, this movie's two hours and 45 minutes long. Give the short version. This is a short version. Okay, go. And they end up, he ends up finding out that this replicant gave birth. Right? So he's put on the mission. Which would never happen, by the way. <clears throat> he he was put on a mission to find this. We don't know that, though. We don't know if Terrell, if, because, the, by the way, the replicant that this is is Rachel. Gave birth to a human android hybrid. So think about this for a second, people. Well, that's. Guy, human man fucks female robot. Human man comes inside female robot, and the sperm does this and does its thing in a female robot egg? So the bones are actually, they belong to Rachel, right? Rachel was one of the replicants from the first movie. She was created by Terrell, right? So what happens is we don't know, but we are assuming that Terrell did something specifically with this android which Wallace hasn't been able to replicate. So Tyrell might have actually found a way to allow these things to reproduce. So Anyways. Therefore, it's not a miracle of God. It's, no. It's a miracle of design. He, okay, go on. So, Tyrell's um, just smarter than Wallace. Or Yeah, exactly. Go on. Wallace really, everything that Wallace, we're not going to get into that. I go. So anyway, so he, he, he has to hunt down this baby, um, trying to find out what, what child is... Uh, was born of the replicant um, for a time he believes it's him um, he ends up finding uh, Deckard who's uh, in Vegas which is war torn ends up finding him he gets captured by Wallace and uh, Ryan Gosling K the character he ends up meeting the resistance from also the original movie now the point of this resistance is they want to find the baby because finding the baby is going to give them hope give them a sense of purpose if you can be born, then you can have a purpose. Wallace wants to find the baby because he wants slave labor, right? And so Ryan Gosling has to make a decision, gets to the end of the movie, and it's just, it's great. He dies. Who dies? Ryan Gosling's character. We assume he dies. <clears throat> they didn't show him dying. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure he's dead. Okay, what Juan left out is, is, is okay, so basically it was Har Harrison Ford was the father and Sean Young, the replicant, was the mother, right? Right, right. From the first movie, right. okay? And they had a daughter. Ryan Gosling thought throughout, th throughout the movie that he was actually the person, you know, that was the baby. Right. And it come to find out that, th that there was a replicant created at the same, you know, and, and, and dual things were created to throw people off. But Sean Young really had a girl. And the girl ended up being this person that's in this glass cage, kind of like Magneto's like jail cell that creates memories and dreams for the replicants to make their lives feel real. And she took her actual memories and put them inside Ryan Gosling's character because Ryan Gosling was the doppelganger to throw people off from her. But she works for Wallace by putting dreams into his yeah, replicants. That's great. And wait, wait, let's take this a step further. So the miracle child has to be in this glass fortress because she has this rare disease that will kill her if she's out in the open air amongst other people. So the miracle child is a Bubble one boy. It, it's a one trick pony. Well, it has it has a genetic disease is all. But you know, it, it 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 won't happen again because Sean Young is dead and nobody knows how to replicate what she had and unless it, it was a miracle. But the thing is that's pointless. Like the And what, and, and and the baby, the child that Wallace is looking for the whole time is under his nose the entire time. Right. All that stuff is secondary, though. It's really pointless. What's important, what's secondary. great... Secondary? Yeah, what's, what's great about the movie is um, Ryan Gosling trying to understand what, what makes... What, what is a soul? Like, who gets to have a soul? Why live if you're created, um, if you're made instead of born? All the questions like, wh why is life worth living? Like, love, is his love real? Right, the love that he has with the computer model, the joy. So what it's it's a lot of philosophical questions. Let me tell you, if you do not like sci fi, even one percent don't watch this movie. 
This movie is not for people that do not like sci-fi. I this agree. is not a Star Wars type sci-fi movie. This is more along the lines of um, her and Ex Machina, which is uh, no. Her was way better than this movie. Well, the, her was not way better than this movie. Her was like a gazillion times better than this movie. It's just different questions are posed in her. First of all, her was like I think under two hours, which made sense for a movie like this. Mm-hmm. Two hours and forty-five minutes was too long for this fucking movie. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of unnecessary shit in this movie that they could have taken out. Which, by the way, the movie was directed by the same guy that did The Arrival. Yes. And The Arrival is a... And, and the cinematographer, by the way, you know that he hasn't won an Oscar yet. He's the guy that does all the Coen Brothers stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. He did No Country for Old Men. Okay. Uh, you know, all that stuff. So, I, I mean, I, I... I don't know. I, I, I really didn't... I, I like the visual... I, I told you everything I liked about it, but... I, I, I don't think it was worth two hours and 45 minutes. I don't think it was this like, epic masterpiece. My brother on the other hand, it, he's seen it four times already. No, I want to see it again. Like, like he's think about that for a second. Almost probably like 11 hours of his life spent watching this movie. This I, single movie. Dude, you, own a, you own a DeLorean. That's, that's, di- that's different. Like, you own a DeLorean. That's different. I'm working on time travel. Leave me alone. All right, because I want life to mean something in this infinite universe. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm glad you found your meaning in DeLorean. It's, it's just it, it it it's just it's just the 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 vessel for which I achieve the purpose. I'm just trying to fuck a little more before I die, man. Honestly, but just just go go get some 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 whores or something. I don't know. We all can't. We all can't be like Batsy. No, yeah. but you know, like, <laughs> you know, I mean, horrors will fuck anyone. You want someone to actually be surprised they slept with a monster. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. So listen, uh, go see Blade Runner if you can. If you can. If you can. If you can. If you can push through the two hours and forty five minutes. I don't. I. 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 I'm never gonna watch this movie again. I'm definitely gonna watch it. I, I believe this movie requires multiple viewings. Um, I will. Mark Millar said uh, was quoted saying, you know, regardless of the sales, this is gonna be a movie that people are gonna be talking about for decades, just like the original. Yeah. You know what it is? I'm not a huge fan of the original, so it's no surprise I'm not. I would also recommend for people to watch the original. No, I think you do have to watch the. Original. Yeah, you should watch the original um, and watch Doesn't both and watch both cuts because the different cuts give you a different conclusion about Deckard if you feel that's important um, because in one cut there's a scene that would lead you to believe that Deckard is actually a replicant and I believe in the original showing you are led to believe that he's not So, well he's not though clearly right. if you watch the sequel he's not a replicant well you know everyone has and, and again it's, he's not a replicant but that's an argument Ridley Scott believes he's a replicant fuck Ridley, Ridley Scott fuck him he's not that great at the end of the day the best Come sci-fi on. director ever what Villanueva's no, James catch Cameron up, no. is a way better we already sci-fi had this director conversation and than I was Ridley right. Scott. Okay, James Cameron wipes the floor with Ridley Scott. Aliens is better than Alien. Nope. Whatever. Anyways, Susie at Susie Fed. Do we have any comments or questions as of right now? Oh wow! Someone is saying you are just a lump of coal. I would love to Which meet. Which is black, by the way. That's your, that's the theme. Yeah. I would on. love to meet this alternate. I should try to pretend to be super positive one day. Next podcast, I'm going to act super positive. Really? Absolutely. But that's not authentic. We want auth- huh? authenticity. I mean, I can only get so authentic without having, like, my brains on the fucking floor. Uh, okay. And there's nothing. <laughs> that's it? That's all we have? Just one person saying... Don't worry, I'll be more positive. Next uh, week, I'll be the, the alternate no, universe be, version be, of be me. Your, be yourself. It's cool, whatever. All right, so Blade Runner 24. Do you have anything else to say about the movie? Don't take your girlfriends. Listen, Woo! the thing that I that, that the thing that really like the only part that I was like <gasps> was when they 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 killed Ryan Gosling's AI hologram yeah, that was bitch. Crazy, right? I was like, and she's like, I love Pshted. But that, and I was like, oh, like I oh, I felt bad there, you know. But you felt bad? Why? Like all they did was destroy a computer simulation. No, but you know what? Like, ah, see, questions. He doesn't even know that these questions are, are like bubbling up inside of him. No, shut up. So what do you consider humanity? You obviously had an emotional response to the destruction of a synthetic pro computer program. 
listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that. Listen, first of all, this is science fiction. AI, though it exists in a very primitive form right now in current days, it's nowhere near what we see in movies like Blade Runner or Terminator or The Matrix or anything like that. But I, I do believe it has the possibility to get there, which is scary in itself because anything could happen. You know, the whole Skynet thing's a real thing. You know, like, mm-hmm. like if you are a computer program and it is your, it is your job to solve problems. Like, what is the problem on this planet? It really is us. Let's be real. You know, if you want to talk about the survival of this planet, if you really want to get deep into it, you know, because we don't serve a purpose at the end of the day in this multi fucking galaxy filled universe. That seems to be the theme today. Blackness and lack of purpose in a mass universe. This movie. And the movie didn't inspire this. This is the movie. We're dressed in all black without I'm, even I'm knowing. I'm dressed in all black because I got a gig tonight, which, by the way, you guys want to do some karaoke? Go to Ricky's Miami Beach tonight. Anyways. We're all dressed in black. This, this is Blade Runner's effect, man. Whatever. Uh, no, actually, at Susie Fat on her corner says, I wish you were here. Oh, that's... that's oh. She's talking to you, bro. Maybe she's Anyways. talking about her humanity. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. Anyways. Uh, so it's a depressing movie. I, uh, I it's a it's, it's a dystopian it thing. It make me sad. I mean, dystopian. Like, do you uh, listen? Another thing too, like 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 Deckard, uh, uh, Deckard was was supposed to drown in that car with the evil replicant, but Ryan Love. Gosling killed the evil replicant, and uh, and then Ryan Gosling's like, look, they all think you're dead. What do you mean? What they're not gonna go dig up the fucking you know car that probably has a GPS in it in this time and not see Deckard's remains there? Mm-hmm. Like, come on, you know. And then on top of that, Deckard's going to go to this facility that his daughter is at and and have a little powwow with her. And nobody's going to know that, even though they caught Ryan Gosling at that place because they knew he was there halfway through the movie. Come on, dude. Like, the movie is very bleak visually, but the themes are very hopeful. Um, again, I recommend this movie. I think it's the best movie I've seen this year after Logan. What? I, I like Logan more. What? The- Oh my, my second favorite movie this year. God. If your significant other, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, if they don't like sci-fi, do not take them. Um, it's going to be a horrible experience for them. And you can't say, oh, well, Ryan Gosling and Jerry Leader were in it because it won't be a selling point. It won't be a selling Not the way they... No. You know, not Plus, Jerry Leader's only in it for, like, literally 10 minutes. Right. And, and he's blind. His eyes are all fucked up. He looks like he's out of that Johnny Mnemonic movie, mm-hmm. which was... Johnny Mnemonic was fucking great. Yeah. Anyways, um, it was interesting seeing Harrison Ford finally act his age, like no makeup, just worn down. That guy is old. Well, they actually, they actually said I saw him do an interview on on a Tonight Show, and he was like, "Yeah, I just showed up to the set in my regular clothes." No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know? That's awesome. Yeah, and it's, I just, I just did my. So thing. I really recommend yeah. it. I think you guys should watch this movie. Um, <laughs> probably the best science fiction movie of the year, easily, and second favorite movie I've seen this year. All right, well, there we go. Blade Runner 24. Now, let's talk about Inhumans. Have you seen it? No. I haven't seen it either. You want to know why? Because it looks stupid. It looks horrible. And guess what? Nobody gives a fuck about the Inhumans. No one really cares. When is Marvel going to realize nobody cares about the Inhumans? They will never replace the X-Men. Just get over it. Yeah. Get over it. You know, Batsy saw Inhumans, and of course he's like, I'm giving it a chance. I, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I'm on the fence. I'm giving giving it a chance. Like he's the only one that had something. Is Batsy secretly like my alternate universe, Juan? Oh the, my god. Yeah. Just like way oh, uglier. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. That yeah. that could be a case. Yeah. Batsy, you want to come on the camera you know so they can crazy. see what you. You want to come on the camera so they can see what you look like. As as he's a positive ver- he's like me. The alternate universe positive wow. one pull, is Batsy. Pull, pull up a picture of Batsy. No, I'm not gonna do that. No, do do do. What do you what do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, see, see. What do you mean? <laughs> if, all right, if you want to see a picture of Batsy, just go to at Corker Comics Instagram or at Corker Comics Miami the Facebook page, and you will see pictures of Batsy. You can compare him and Juan, and leave your comments for yourself. Um. Other thing to talk about, um, so this is funny because it was a debacle. So you saw what happened with McDonald's and this Rick and Morty sauce? No. So apparently they only sent most McDonald's like 20 little packets of this special sauce that they mentioned in one episode, Szechuan sauce. And, uh, yeah, apparently there was almost like mob-like riots at McDonald's, people chanting and fights that people wanted their Rick and Morty fucking sauce. That's stupid. I have never in my life. so dumb. 
you know what's crazy? I've been meaning to watch Rick and Morty. A lot of people. I've that been meaning I, to too. I haven't seen a it. lot of people that I respect, whose opinion I respect, recommend Rick and Morty and they, say it's a great show. And I not like South Park, and I hear it's on yeah. the same lines. I, I you know, yeah. our Randall, our friend Randall, he showed me the first episode. I thought it was great. Fuck Randall. No, but, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's right there, guys. The, Anyways, the uh, fan base for Rick and Morty is so goddamn annoying that it makes me not actually want to watch the show. You know what? The Rick and, so the, much douchebaggery in the, one fan. The, base. Listen, the Rick and Morty mobile came to Tate's Comics, which oh, is Lord. which 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 is which is our friends who are up in Lauderhill. Which uh, you know, if your you don't, friends. You, well, you know, he, uh, I I mean, I don't I don't mind them. I mean, it's like going in a time capsule when you go there. I see it's all everything from my childhood. I'm like, uh, but anyways, uh, I'm like, um, I'm so. Um, but uh, everyone flipped out about it, and, and there is this phenomenon going on with Rick and Morty. I, I, I don't get it. I, I just we got to watch the show. I guess we got to watch the show. But whatever, we got off topic. We were talking about Inhumans, which sucks a fat dick. There's not much to say about it. Apparently, Medusa loses her hair in the first episode, which basically means she oh means God. nothing. Like like her character oh all of a sudden does nothing. Black Bolt doesn't talk at all. So basically, Ramsey Bolton is. Is the one running the show, and, and he looks just and and they're on the, and they're on the moon, okay? Which is like okay, Rita from the Power Rangers, whatever, okay? Like for and Lockjaw's in it a little bit. He's a teleporting dog that just pants all the time. I mean, fuck the Inhumans, fuck you, Marvel. Like get over it, all right? So Nobody as as, a, as opposed to the Inhumans, you know, um, Gifted came out. Did you watch Gifted? I did watch Gifted. So, what do you think of an actual X Men show? Did you watch Gifted? Not yet. All right. Well, I'm gonna spoil the fuck out of it. Go ahead. I'm dying to see. I'm gonna watch it anyways. Okay. Well, there's one episode, and I think the second episode is tonight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it it takes place in the future, I guess, where there's no X Men or no Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Supposedly, they don't know. It's in question. Blah blah blah. But there is a Sentinel organization, government agency, but not ran by robots. Ran by regular people that have little tiny like spider like robots that go after mutants, and um. So the the main character is Strucker, the Struckers, the Struckers. Which is that Baron von Strucker? You remember that Baron von Strucker had? Uh, I think his grandkids were twins. The von Strucker twins were act. They they actually had powers. So who knows if that's where the show got its? But are the Struckers? Are they in the X Men family? I thought they were like Avenger type characters. Yeah, I I don't know. I I, I mean, know. I know they're Marvel, but but you can't mix the universes. Like an X Men show can't have fucking you know Steve Rogers in it, you know. Well, it's so, the whole like Scarlet Witch, I guess Quicksilver thing. That no, they but did. Scarlet Witch Quicksilver is is Magneto's kids. That's why they get away with it. I mean, they're also you know? in the Avengers, but which is why they get away with it. But the Von Struckers, like, were they X Men villains? The grandkids, I don't know. It's just, it's a really the grandkids were a really obscure character. I don't. Know. Anyways, Strucker is a lawyer for a government agency, and his kids mm-hmm. become mutants, and he's trying to get them, uh, it, uh, it to to a sanctuary by the resistance. Uh, so he's he's teaming up with people that he was originally, you know, helping hunt down and prosecute. Uh, uh, Polaris or Polaris, however you say it. Polaris. Polaris. Um, she's captured right away. She doesn't have her trademark green hair which pisses me off but whatever uh and who's magneto's daughter but they don't talk about it but anyways she's captured initially in the beginning her boyfriend is this guy that shoots like light out of his like body and stuff that can either do it to illuminate a room to he can he can focus it and make it lasers and he's okay. the, he's the leader of the resistant thunderbird is in it which is the mutant tracker guy yeah um and then um and uh, Blink Blink is in it too, and and a lot of these people they don't really know their power. Blink is, is really Blink the same act, the same Blink that they used in uh, the X Men movie, Days of Future Past. I don't know. It's the same one, but I, not, I, I not don't, different I don't actress. I don't think but it's same, the same okay. actress. Yeah, because uh, uh, she was awesome in that in Days of Future Past. She was. Uh, yeah. Fun uh, fun fact: uh, Stanley does make an appearance in it, which he doesn't normally make appearances in the TV in the shows. TV shows, no. He does make an appearance. In I mean, he kind of does like, but I think no, no, it was like, in Daredevil was like a live appearance. You no, mean. physical live yeah, appearance. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. Um, Brian Singer is not only the one an executive producer, but he directed the first episode. Oh, really? Yes, he did. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's got a very similar look and feel to it as the movies. 
Uh, Brian Singer is argue- arguably the X-Men go-to guy in Hollywood, even though mm. he's not doing the new Dark Phoenix movie, which I'm kind of glad about because Apocalypse sucked my dick. Um, and th- not in a good way. Yeah, it was um, terrible. Uh, so Like a bit down, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it, 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 it's good. A little bit of teeth, it, ladies. It's just okay. A little it's, bit. Not, it's, not, it's not amazing. I, I, you know, the, the the cliffhanger was they caught the dad, the Strucker dad, mm. and now he's like, you know, but we'll we'll see. Are his kids on the run already? His kids are on the run. Already, first episode. Kids are on the run. So here's a Bernie Hawk question, right? As someone who's probably a huge fan of the first live action X Men TV show, Heroes, is it? It seems from the previews that it's the same fucking thing. Heroes was way better so far. Yeah, but like, is it like it's? It seems like it's the same premise. No, because Heroes was grounded in a real. In reality, like, like, it. But isn't X Men supposed to be? So are you saying that this was just? It it's 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 grounded in the Marvel universe reality, oh, where, where people know that mutants exist and it's a it's a political topic and all that stuff like that. No one knew about the heroes. The the thing that made heroes great, I thought, was that it was like if 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 superheroes really were to come about in this world, this is how that shit would go down. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, by season two and three, they went way off the rails yeah yeah it was yeah. terrible but, but but season one was just but amazing it, it initially was was you know it felt real you know the and the marketing campaign how yeah. great was that like save the cheerleader save the world like we heard that all season and you're it was you were hooked yeah no it was great it was so really you're saying good. that the gifted is gifted, not comparable g- gifted so far i mean it's only one episode in. Right. i don't want to i don't want to speculate i think that's unfair but uh but so far, my, my initial impression is amazing. I mean, to be fair, I remember watching the first episode of Heroes, and there was a lot of character development. Yeah. You didn't even see superpowers in the first episode, really, until the very end when Peter Petrelli goes after his brother Nathan Petrelli, and they fall off the building, and they fall, and then all of a sudden, they fly. But you don't know who it was. You don't know right, if it was right. Nathan or if it was Peter or who right. it was. Because Peter was the one saying he has powers, and Nathan's like, you're crazy. Yeah. And it turned out Nathan was the one with powers and I not Peter. Peter so much. And Nathan was the one that saved Peter. Yeah. You know, and we didn't see that to the to, to the following episode. So you guys should watch Heroes season one. I I say season one, two, and three. Well, half of two. I, I, you know what it was? It was that writer strike that just fucked everything up. It did, but I, I didn't mind two and three. I really didn't. Well, I think like I two gets by on the strength of of the villain Cyrus. Yeah. You know, um, he was actually what was compelling about it. But out of season one, like eh. three, season three wasn't bad either, man. And also the the what was the Asian guy the hero. Hero, yeah, he was great. Great. Yeah, great. Yeah. And his buddy, that was fantastic. Yeah. What a great show. Who man. got powers later on, which was Oh, he did? Oh, that's terrible. That's not yeah. good. Yeah. See, I didn't watch that long. No, I watched I watched all four seasons. Oh shit. Yeah, the fourth season was not good, man. Did you watch when they brought it back? No, I didn't. I that didn't. I didn't. Batsy said it was good, but Batsy doesn't not like anything. Again, alternate universe okay. super positive guy yeah, over there. He likes everything. He really does. He likes everything. 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 There's he has nothing bad to say about anything. He's an ideal mate. Um, <laughs> um, I don't think uh, I don't think he likes anal beads. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't know, <laughs> people. <laughs> I wouldn't personally know, I don't but know. He, he might. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I try everything once or twice or three times. It's okay. <laughs> uh, if they were anal beads, they'd have to like have the bat symbol on them. <laughs> Yeah, I think. Yeah, they would get stuck. They would get stuck. Be yeah. like a grappling cook for his boss state. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, uh, so aside from that, uh, Juan, I know you haven't. I I watched that show, Ghosted, the the one with with with. Uh, with the guy from Parks and Recreation and the black guy from uh, The Office, Craig Robinson. Oh, Craig it? Robinson. Yeah, yeah and uh, the other guy from Parks and Rec. Um, I watched the, the, the there are two episodes in. I don't think it's that good. It's like a wannabe Ghostbusters, but it's just not good. No. And they I don't bust ghosts it, either. It's, it's Where's this on? Fox. It's supposed okay. to be a comedy, and I, I'm, I'm not laughing. And you want to? I really like those two guys. I really like Parks and Rec. I really like The Office. But it just doesn't have that same feel to it. It's not good. They're not as funny. The writers aren't good. Um, you can check it out if you want, but Ghost, it kind of sucks. I'm done with it. Right. But you want to know what I do watch? This Is Us. Do you watch that show? I don't even know what that is. That show is fucking great, dude. That show, it's NBC. It's, uh, Betsy doesn't watch This Is Us. 
You're what is this? Man, is dude. us? What is that about? Life. Life. Family. This is very conversational today. Life, family, love, uh, um, relationships, children, parents, death. No, I have. I um. I think I'll skip that. No, it's really great. It's really great. It's really good. You should really check it out. And listen, let me, let me tell you what. True story. True story. So I'm at our Pembroke Pines location, which is on Pines Boulevard, just east of University Drive. And uh, and I'm sitting there working the register, and these, these two magic guys come in. And they totally look like your stereotypical magic guy. Um, good looking and very intelligent. You got it. You got it. And they walk in, and they're shooting the shit with me and talking to me about I play whatever. magic. And, uh, and 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 they they start asking me what TV shows I'm watching, and I'm like I really don't have a ton of time to watch shows, but I'm watching you know I watch Walking Dead, and they're like of course, and I'm like and I watch Game of Thrones, they're like of course, and I'm like I pause and I go, this is us, and I kind of put my hand down and like set it under my breath, oh. you know, because you know whatever. I, I, it's I, like the Dave Matthews Band thing. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. but but you want you know what they did? They did this. They go they go. That's cool, man. We watched that too. That show's great. And I'm like, yeah, my point exactly. So like, seriously, you need to check out this sus. It's great. There, there are two seasons in. There, or they're, they're in the second season. Is it right on now. Netflix? No, it's probably on Hulu. Yeah, because it's NBC. Man, what's better right now? Is Netflix is better or Hulu? You should get Amazon Prime to watch the Tick because Tick is the wor- Tick is, tick is great. To, yeah. Even though it's, it's a six episodes long, thirty minutes each, it's a quick mm-hmm. watch and it's great. So we're so watch the Gifted, watch This Is Us. Check out the Gifted. I mean, I'm gonna give it a chance, but I don't know if I'm gonna go through the whole. Season. I mean, we kind of have to watch the whole thing, don't we? No, we don't. Yeah, I'm not watching true. Inhumans. Yeah, I don't watch Arrow. I don't watch any of the CW shows. Flash is still pretty good, man. You were talking so much shit about Flash. Season three was pretty ha- or awful. Well, I didn't watch any of that fucking. Yeah, the Flashpoint you know? lasted like two episodes. I it don't, it's just like I, I just think of it like this. I'm like, it, it's fucking Beverly Hills now two and zero with capes. Mm. You know, and I just I, I can't I can't get it's like the books I can't get into the teeny bobby books. No. You know, um, whatever. So big movie releases coming up. Thor's coming up. The reviews have been really good, surprisingly. I, it has been, but we'll yeah. see. I if it's like Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm gonna be pissed. No matter how good it is, like mm-hmm. don't 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 steal what James Gunn is doing. Yeah. You know. Which by the way, this director's name his name is like Haiku Chikani or whatever. Some mm-hmm. it sounds like a Japanese name, but he's not Jap- Japanese or Asian at all. I saw a photo of him. He he, he looks Pakistani or Indian to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know whatever. I was surprised by his name. Um, uh, but we'll see how the movie is. Uh, Justice League comes out in, around Thanksgiving, episode eight, in Christmas. Mm-hmm. There's really nothing else, right? Are you gonna watch? You know what I do want to see this weekend. I don't know if you want to watch it with me. The Protector. I don't even know what that is. It's new Jackie Chan movie. No, I don't give. I don't, it's I don't like Jackie. No, but it's not funny. Jackie Chan no, is Jackie Chan no, doing Taken. No, I don't care. I don't care. The Foreigner. Sorry, yeah, The Foreigner. Yeah, yeah. Jackie Chan doing no, uh, like Taken. Type I don't of care. I don't care. Okay. No, and fuck you, by the way, because you know I called Juan yesterday. I'm go. You want to watch Kingsman? Because I thought we could talk. And about I really this shit do want to. I do want to watch like, Kingsman. Juan was like, I'll call you back in 20 minutes. Motherfucker never called me. I back. was doing a you know? last minute and then, project. And then, and then on top of that, on top of that, I called him again, like to follow up. Motherfucker didn't answer me either. I was trying to finish my kids' school project Dude, with them. Fuck you. That's a batsy excuse. That's a father excuse. Right. Whatever. I'm a dad. Ah. Oh. What? What was the project? Hmm? What was the project? She had a, it's a, it was a book report. A book report? Yeah, I call it a project. It was a project for me. She hadn't read the fucking book. She didn't read the book? No. And it was due today? Yeah. And you're talking about parenting? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. My s- listen, my son's on safety patrol. Oh, he probably gets bullied all the time. Dude. No. My daughter has the most strikes. Hey, <laughs> he puts, he puts uh, strikes against. So everything. here's the thing, and and maybe you guys can help me out. You can help me out. This is not comic really. I don't give a fuck though, because this is actually something I care about. So my son is safety patrol. My daughter tackled him from behind to fuck with him. So he gave her a strike. Who should I punish? Should I punish him? But right, because he snitched. First of all, he's the rat. Exactly. Good. Second I did the right all, thing. S- uh, second of all. Against family. Yeah. Like, that's Godfather 2 type Yeah, shit. you don't do it against family. Okay, I just want to okay. make sure because for a minute I thought I, I was right. doing the wrong parenting all thing. Right. And, 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 and third of all, she's clearly just fucking with him. Yeah. They're just being like, hey, yeah. let me run up and tackle you. But she did do that in front of other safety patrol people. But she didn't do it because she literally wanted to hurt him. 
I, I know, but like she didn't do it with malice in her. She's a lot like, eyes, her, like right? but she's a lot like her mother. The malice just might be there unintentionally. Well, we'll we'll find out. We'll find out. All right. Let me know when she gets it the first time. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm about to kill somebody. <laughs> so, anyways, my son is now no longer going to be on safety patrol. So, I guess I did the right thing. Oh really? And oh no! You don't got to take my safety patrol. Snitches are bitches. Did he bro. cry about what? Did he cry about losing his badge? No, he wanted to be off of it anyways. He had to wake up like 15 minutes earlier to do it. You know? Oh fuck that! Yeah. Fuck that hard. Yeah. Uh, at Susie Fetter, are there any other questions, comments, concerns? Nothing. Nothing. It's a quiet day. Wow, nobody must be into what we're saying. Maybe we just depress them too much. I know, they're like, oh, blackness. Life really does mean nothing. No. Let me get off social media because that's fucking, that defines. So tune in next week. I'll be watching Highway to Heaven and be super positive. <laughs> yeah, Highway to Heaven. There we go. That's another Highway to Heaven reference we've made. Well, yeah. you have at least. I, I love don't, that show, man. I don't like that show at all. Um, so anyways, real quick, people, uh, I, I had a comment saying that we don't, that people that watch us on Instagram Live or Facebook Live, they can't hear our audio. That is because it is being filmed through an iPad slash iPhone, so you're getting the microphone on those devices. And we're not that cool to download the external software and do all the other stuff like that. But what we do do is we film this with an actual camera, and these microphones actually go into that camera, and we upload today's recording to our YouTube channel, so you can hear everything perfect there. So if you want to hear what we're saying, if you want to comment on what we're saying, if you want to see it all, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. All you got to do is go to uh, Cork, um, YouTube.com, search Corker Comics, we pop up right there. Uh, I think the icon is Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. We have about, I think we have like 12 or 15, no, we have like 18, 19 videos up right now. Uh, we've done we've done quite a lot. We've of done things. a bunch of these. Yeah, we started doing it in May. Oh. Yeah, that, that's 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 pretty crazy. Uh, so subscribe to our YouTube channel. You want to come see us? Uh, you can come to either one of our locations. We have one in Miami on 107th and 8th Street in the Florida International Plaza across from FIU, and another one in the Pembroke. What the fuck is that name? Pembroke Plaza. Pembroke Plaza. Pembroke Plaza and Pembroke Pines. Uh, on Pines Boulevard, just east of University Drive. It's across from an airport. Across from Perry Airport by Broward College. Uh, and uh, other than that, a uh, really cool three-dimensional weird lenticular covers Marvel has. DC has a few as well. A lot of good things happening with both publishers. Which was your favorite one? Which was my favorite one? Lenticular cover from Marvel. Oh, the giant size X Men. Yeah, the giant size X Men. Oh, I, no, take the bet. Days of Future Past one. That was actually really good. The too. Wolverine and the Sentinel one. The Royals issue, which 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 is in humans. Like, get it. Fuck you, Marvel. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, and other than that, uh, it, we didn't talk a lot about New York Comic Con because there wasn't much that happened. Uh, because they do it all in San Diego. There wasn't a lot of big reveals, but New York Comic Con happened this weekend. So for those who went, great. Um, for those who didn't, and there's always next year. You got anything else to say? No, everyone make sure that you uh, read Dawnbreaker. This metal series has been amazing. And the Green Arrow tie-in itself was fantastic. Green Lantern. The Green... Uh, it wasn't Green Arrow last Green week? Lan Green Lantern. Dawnbreaker's Green Lantern. No, yeah, but I'm saying the Green Arrow issue oh, also the, had the a tie-in. Oh, the tie-in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Which, which, which was the finale to yeah, that little thing. Yeah, it's been phenomenal. Um, You guys need to pick up this metal series. And also, um, The White Knight was really, really good. Yeah, but let's not talk about that because we're sold out of that one. And we're not getting any more? But I want people to subscribe just to make my order. I'm just, I'm lazy, guys. It's going to make my ordering process so it's much true. easier. It's true. It's absolutely So true. much easier it's if I know true. how many people actually want this. And we can assure that you get what you want. Absolutely. So if you want, subscribe to The White Knight. It's been really, really hot, and I really recommend it. I guess hot like, like Batsy? No, it's actually good. Like, it actually, it's good. And uh, it's, I guess it's Sean Murphy. Uh, DC is giving Sean Murphy his own little, like, universe. It's like part of the Sean Mercy uh, verse. Okay, all right. So, which, which, by the way, uh, Batsy's in pants today, long denim, and a did, polo shirt. Did you? Uh, did you read the it's White Knight? Amazing. <laughs> I never, I never see him. He loves, he loves throwing things at me. Did you read the White Knight? That means he's embarrassed. I'm did sorry. You read the White Knight? No. Okay, you should read it. I think it's Jack Nicholson's uh, Joker. It's pretty good. Oh, okay. You got anything else to say? No. At Suzy Fett, you got anything else to say? Check out at Suzy Fett if you want to see some half naked pictures of her. At underscore at Suzy underscore Fett, and she spells Suzy all weird. How do you spell Suzy? Why didn't you just do fucking S U S Y, or S U Z Y? Like that's how people think Suzy. To be different, now you're harder to find. No, it's easier to find. It's easier to find. No, you gotta say. Oh really? You're that popular? 
She's like, just put SU and I pop up. Look at that. Look at that ego right there. Yeah, yeah. I ass and titties. I ass and titties. That's what she. That's what she's showing. Yeah, let's be real. But you cover. Why do you cover your face all the time? A lot of the time you do. You wear those helmets. You like helmets? Nah, I can't, I can't, I can't. I have nothing productive to I add. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't continue this conversation. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so subscribe to our YouTube channel, Corker Comics. Come see our shops. Come say hi to Juan. Uplift him. Make him think that life is worth more than just what we think is worth, which is an infinite, an infinite amount of galaxies and an infinite universe that never ends. What's the Batman song in the Lego movie? Darkness. No parents, right? Is yeah. that how it goes, Batsy? Yeah, that's the one from the first one. Yeah, the metal song. You know he knows. He's got that on. He's got that. He's got that song on his fucking. He's it's really good. He, he, he's got it. Whatever. Yeah, he wants it on vinyl. Vinyl. Even, even vinyl. Shut up. Shut up. Vinyl. Vinyl. You should vape his, while you his, watch it. His 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 his, his record players are not even. They're, oh they're, 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 my they're, lord! He's got. I got two technique. Th- that it costs oh, six hundred dollars. But guess guess where his techniques turntables are? They are they're buried underneath his collection of Batman paraphernalia. Okay? So he can't get to them. So therefore he claims to be this DJ, DJ Batsy, which he was hating on that name for a while, but now he embraces it. It's a good name, it. right? It's a good name. I like it. Oh now you like it. You didn't like it. No, he uh, should. Yeah, it's been it a while. It bothered him at first. But well, come visit us here at the store. Yeah, come visit come visit Batsy. If you, if you want to be uplifted Sunday. and if you want to be brought down, come, 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 come see Juan. And if you want to be lifted in another way, come see Susie. Oh, my God. That was actually funny. Right? I mean, that was, I would, that was actually funny. I mean, yeah. Like, fuck. Right? Like, I really actually hate myself for I, finding that funny. I, 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 I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm, that, that, that's not me saying she's going to do anything for or to you, but just looking at her might work for you, right? Yeah. Thank God we have one attractive person in the store. I, I where it, it, any comments, questions, anything? Nothing, nothing. Are you trying to provoke a response? Nothing. I don't know. This is been, no. I'm not trying to provoke anything. But but it, usually we have at least two or three comments. You know, and I, I've actually enjoyed this episode today. Uh, really, I, you've I, enjoyed it. I've enjoyed this one a little more than other ones. You know, I feel it's been a little more open and honest and heartfelt and and just really like happening and plus i i love i love bullying batsy like it's so fun it's so fun it's so fun because he gets so worked up doesn't he mm-hmm. he gets really worked up see no so the fact that he's even talking right now proves my point yeah. see <laughs> see what i'm saying he said yeah okay yeah what is he keep, he's continuing and he's gonna throw stuff see it's bothering him no, you're bothering see i was just saying hey. Yes, me, me, the bully. Right. I get enough of this on Battlefront. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't play Battlefront. I don't. I don't. Oh Lord. No. Oh. Anyways, uh, for Tom and Pop, uh, featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corka. Juan, Farage. We'll see you next time.